what up guys, Ping and Ari Azers or A here and welcome back to the podcast. Um I just recorded the podcast episode. It freaking wouldn't download correctly. It wouldn't upload the way I said that that is just uh it's frustrating. But um these are some NFL players that you guys should look out for look forward to watching and just watch out for them and pray for them. But um just wanna say please like and subscribe and God bless. And don't forget about first though. But um, yeah, watch out for Cam Newton for next year. He's got a great defense. He's got Hunter Henry, Johnny Smith. There's no reason he can't do that. Next one is Exit Kelly. Um, he's got Dak Prescott back. Dak Prescott, second paid, second highest paid quarterback in the league, I think. But um, watch out for Zeke. Um, God bless his heart though. I've I've always liked Zeke because he played for Ohio State. Um, yeah, I'm a Bengals fan and all that crap. But um. Zeke's Dax back now, so watch out for Zeke. This player, Odell, he could potentially he might get traded. Um, he hasn't had the best success with um, the Browns. So, I don't know. I would love to have him on the Bengals, though. But just pray for him. And, um, yeah, just pray for all the players on the show. But, um, yeah, Beckham, I'd be so happy if he joined the Bengals. Please join the watch out for DK Metcalf. He had a great season. He can freaking chase down 80 yards. He can go down 80 yards to freaking chase Buda Baker. Like he's fast. He can catch it. Very talented. And he's, yeah, he's just a good player. He can run. I mean, if he wanted to, I'm sure they could freaking put him in jet sweeps. He can catch though. He's very fast. Though. He's a very versatile player. Watch out for freaking Christian McCaffrey. He had what thousand yards receiving in thirteen hundred rushing yards and like fifteen rushing touchdowns. If you look at ESPN, just look him up. But um, yeah, God bless his heart. Just pray for him. Um, he's a great running back. He's a great player. But just watch out for him. If he's healthy, he's a monster. Congratulations, to Patrick Mahomes. Oh, his daughters. Congratulations, Patrick. Um. God bless his heart and just pray for him. Um, Patrick Mahomes is a beast. I, I, I have all the respect in the world for Mahomes. You know, I've 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 liked Mahomes and he made the Super Bowl. Like, um, you know, he's just he's a beast. He's Mr. Consistency. For the Blazers, watch out for Saquon freaking Barkley. Um, he's healthy. He's a monster. And yeah, just watch out for him and pray for him. Just hope he stays healthy. He's a monster. If he had a great old line, he wouldn't have to worry about getting cut. I'm gonna play you guys to watch out for AJ Green. That's my favorite player. You know I'm not a Cardinals fan, I'm a Bengals fan. Um, but um, watch out for AJ Green. God bless his heart and I hope you guys pray for him. But yeah, I, I think he's gonna have a great season with the Cardinals. I'm gonna play you guys to watch out for Jesse freaking Mason. He's had three interceptions in the preseason. He's played in. He's a beast. And just watch out. Trey Hendrickson, he had over 10 sacks in 2020, and I hope he's a beast for the Bengals. Let's freaking go, who day, and God bless his heart. Russell Wilson, Mr. Consistency. I've been a big Russ fan for like a long time now. Um, God bless his heart, and just pray for him. He's a, he's a great quarterback. I've got all the respect in the world for Russ. He's my second favorite quarterback in the league. Um, he's from Cincinnati too, and that just it's great, it's cool. Um and yeah, his birthday isn't his his birthday is like five days after mine, so it's pretty cool. But um yeah, I've I'm a big fan of Russ. Um and he's a beast. And yeah, just God bless him and he's Mr. Consistency. I think I hope he wins M V P next year. I'd be so happy. I would really be happy. Him and Joe Burrow, I'd be very happy. Watch out for Murray and Hopkins though. Great, uh, great wide receiver and quarterback duo, though. Just great, just a great, great talent and great athleticism players. You know Joe Mixon, right? Watch out for him in 2021. Okay, so he cooks with a terrible O-line. Imagine him with a good O-line. He'd probably pop in, like, 1,500 yards. Like, I'm not even going to be... Um, sarcastic or anything. Mixon's a monster, in my opinion. And just God bless him. Just pray for him. Joe Burrow. 
my favorite QB, um, my second favorite player in the league, um, of all time, actually second favorite player, AJ Green's first, so, but, um, I'm a Bengals fan, and I hope Joe Burrow wins comeback player there, I hope he wins MVP, <laughs> it's just, let's hope that we get a good line, good talent at receivers, um, but yeah, just pray for Joe, and let's hope that leg injury just makes him better, and just pray for him, and just God bless his heart. You guys know Good Morning Football, right? Well, they predicted T. Higgins to get over 1,000 yards in 2021 and make a few Pro Bowls and crap like that. But, um, let's freaking go. I'm excited for T. Higgins to do better in 2021. I hope he does better. I hope God blesses um his career and I just hope God blesses his heart and just, just pray for him. He's a beast, though. And the Bengals. I've got a big feeling the Bengals are going to do way better in 2021. I've got a big feeling. Um, bite me, honestly. I've just I've got a big feeling the Bengals are going to do better in 2021. Look, I know Deshaun Watson's been going through a lot. Honestly, just pray for Deshaun. Um, even no matter if he's on the Texans or not, um, he he's an MVP favorite for sure. But um, just don't think about the crap that everybody's. I mean, it's rumored, and rumors are not always true. Um, it's a fifty fifty percent chance he did all that. But I'm um, just pray for him and just I hope God blesses his heart and just you know, just bless him, God. He he's a uh, um, yeah. And also don't forget to keep God first, though, guys. Um, just I hope God just blesses uh Deshaun and yeah, just bless Deshaun's heart. With that being said, though, guys, um, I'm sorry the podcast wasn't as long. I did another uh. You know what, let's actually go over some stats that will go over Burroughs first, but um, after that we'll end the podcast. These are Christian McCaffrey's ESPN stats. Literally just look at him, you guys can read, I hope. He's, he's a monster, 1,300 yards, 15 rushing touchdowns. Receiving-wise, he got over 1,000 yards in 2019, he's just, it's just, it's crazy. Okay, let's go to the postseason. Um, yeah. It's just McCaffrey's a monster. And just God bless his heart. Next player. We've got Odell Beckham Jr. Okay. So he hasn't really... He, he's cooked with the Giants. He was a beast with the Giants. But I'm um, just looking at him with the... um With the Browns. It just I don't know if Cleveland's actually his home though. Um, He's been decent with Cleveland. I think he'd be better with the Bengals. I hope we could really use him in Cincinnati. Please come to Cincinnati, Odell. We need you. If Joe Burrow wouldn't have got hurt, if we would have had a way better line. But um, if Joe Burrow wouldn't have got hurt, okay, you see what he did with the terrible line, all right? He did 13 touchdown passes. He only played 10 weeks. And look how much yards he threw, too. Um, attempts. He had 404 attempts. Um, He ran for three touchdowns. This thing, I think he would have ran for like six touchdowns, and I think he would have thrown for like 35 if he stayed healthy. Actually, realistically, I feel like he would have thrown like, um, like 25, but honestly, I was thinking he was going to like 35. I feel like he would have, but, um, it's just if our O-line was better, he could do way better. And yeah, just God bless Joe Burrow's heart. We've got Lamar, who's also very consistent. First quarterback in NFL history to run for two 1,000 yard seasons. Just look at these stats, though. And then even his like postseason crap, like he's ran for like over 100 like yards. Like it's just crazy how much yards he runs for. Um, but yeah. Um. Yeah, Lamar's a, Lamar's a beast, though. That's for sure. We've got Russell Wilson, um, second favorite QB in the league. Um, but yeah, we got Russell Wilson. Um, he's had a great career. Uh, yeah, he just uh, he's cool though. He's probably one of the best dual threat quarterbacks of all time, if we're being honest here. But I mean, just God bless his heart though. But um. Yeah, Ross is a beast, and let's hope he sees in Seattle, though. Um, he would, like, there's no, like, I know his O-line's terrible. They can draft a few good O-linemen, though. And he's got Metcalf and Tyler Lockett, and a few good tight ends. So, yeah.
the last player we're going to be looking at now today. We've got Patrick freaking Mahomes. Okay, he's probably one of the most consistent quarterbacks in the league. Um, He's thrown for 14,000 yards in his first... He only started in three seasons. In 2017, he just, that was just his first game he played. He's only thrown 24 picks. 100... 114 touchdown passes. He's ran for six. Um, but, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, just God bless his heart. And, yeah. We're going to end the podcast off here. But if you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, God bless. And don't forget to keep God first. See you guys on the